Hello guys and welcome back to a brand new video here on the channel. I'm James and in this one today I'm going to be sitting down and talking to you guys about what Reading need to improve on throughout this season. So what I've done throughout this video is compile all these stats uh, throughout last year, had a look at the totals, had a look at uh, the average per game. Uh, and I'm just going to have a look and see what Reading need to do kind of to improve on last year. Obviously last year wasn't the greatest of seasons, we finished 20th in the league. Um, yeah and... We sacked our manager, had to bring a new one in, and then with the last five games of the season, ended up finishing 22nd in the form table. Um, so yeah, throughout this video, i uh, just going to go ahead and have a look at what we need to improve on. Um, so yeah, the first thing uh, that I can think of uh, is the average shots per game that we need to uh, step our game on. Uh, so last year, we averaged 9.9 .9 shots uh, with a total of 454. Uh, that was actually the 23rd best in the league. Um, the only team that we were better than was relegated Burton Albion. Uh, so the relegated teams like Sunderland uh, and I can't remember who else went down. Uh, but yeah, the, other, the three team, uh, two of the three teams that went down, we averaged less shots than them. Um, granted, shots don't count for everything in games. You need to score the goals, but you can't score the goals if you don't make the shots. Uh, I think it was Burnley, uh, sorry, I think it was Brentford who were on top of the table uh, in terms of shots with 17. And granted, they didn't finish in the playoffs or in the top heart, uh, in the top two, but they still finished ninth, I think it was, in the end. So we need to take a look at that and we need to go ahead and try and kind of improve in terms of our shots on goal. 9.9 .9 is dreadful, like, in comparison to everyone else in the league is real poor like yeah we average less than 10 shots a game uh so some of that i want to improve on some of that i think we need to do more is shoot outside the box uh, i think we only average three shots outside the box per game uh compared to 5.5 inside um yeah it's something that we need to step up on because if we're not taking the shots we won't score the goals and if we don't score the goals we're not going to win games um, someone like mark mcnulty coming into the side probably is a good thing the man seems like he's a bit of a poacher uh, and I feel like he has the ability to um, take a punt and is a decent finisher as well. Uh, so hopefully we can see that step up. We've seen in the past some people not be able to do that. We've seen the likes of Hope Akpan come to the club and not really make a massive impact from the lower leagues. But hopefully with this one, with Mark McNulty, he can kind of be like a Leroy Lita uh, and make that impact from the lower league up here into the higher divisions. And uh, yeah, go ahead and score some goals for us. Uh, the next one I want to have a look at is uh, cards per game. Uh, so we actually average 1.7 uh, per game, uh, yellow cards wise. That's actually the 14th highest in the league. So we're in the bottom half of the table for that one, but it's not the yellow cards that I want to focus on. Uh, it's actually the red cards. So we actually averaged five red, uh, sorry. So we had five red cards throughout the season, which was actually the fifth most in the league. Uh, so something that we probably need to improve on is discipline. Um, something which we're not the worst at in terms of the league, but we're certainly not the best. Um, something that we had under Steve Koppel was good discipline. Um, granted, that was 12 years ago now, but it's still something that we can have a look at and see what was different compared to then and now. Obviously, conceding a lot of fouls is what we do as well. Um, but still, the fact that we had the fifth most red cards in the league, well, joint fourth technically with Middlesbrough, um, is some of the we really need to step up. Uh, the fact that Joey Vandenberg has left the club is probably a good thing in terms of yellow and red cards going out the door. But we've picked up David Myler, who averaged, I think it was two less than Joey Vandenberg throughout the season last year and played a lot less games than him. Um, so that could be something that maybe is a like-for-like -like replacement, which uh, might not be the best thing there. Uh, the next one I want to have a look at is offsides. Uh, so Reddin actually averaged 2.2 offsides throughout the um, season last year, which again was the fifth highest in the league. Um, last year, I remember it was John Daddy Bodvardson who was offside quite a lot. Mo Barrow would run forward and then not really track back and just walk back and then the pass would come through to him and it'd be miles offside. Uh, something that I remember throughout a lot of last season. So hopefully this year, Paul Clement has been working on these things in training. Obviously, I'm not a manager. I can't tell them, ah, oh, they need to do this, this and this. I'm just putting a video idea out there just to point out what we were flawed on. Obviously, last year we didn't have a good season, so we had a lot of flaws. So it's something that I can make a video about. <laughs> 
Um, next up was aerial battles won per game, uh, a big part really of Reading's game plan really if you think about how much last year we relied on having to clear the ball uh, after dilly dallying about around the back and then having to pass it to the keeper who then booted it away. Uh, so we're actually 19th in the league in terms of aerial battles won, uh, so only 20.7 per game did we win. Uh, I think Cardiff were top with 30, uh, which is an obvious sign that Cardiff were going to do that. Cardiff are always a big strong team, they always try and uh, rely on the aerial battles throughout games, especially near Warnock sides. But we were 19th in the league in terms of battles won, which is not good at all. We need to be winning them aerial battles as well if we're going to be trying to push up. Um, something that I found quite interesting was the key passes that Redden had. So in terms of passes in general, we were sixth in the league, but I looked at the key passes and we only averaged 7.5 key passes per game, which was actually 23rd in the league. So a team that relied themselves on a passing style of play last year only averaged 23, uh, sorry, uh, well averaged 23rd in the league in terms of, um, creating chances, um, yeah, we definitely need to improve on that. That's something hopefully Paul Clement can come in and do, is uh, improve on that, because we massively need to improve on our chances created per game. Looking at the average shots, looking at the average key passes, we're down, we need to be up. Uh, we need to be, even if it's in the mid-table range, we certainly need to be up there, but it's something that we need to improve on heavily. Um, the next one uh, I want to look at as we're looking at through on goal and things like that we actually conceded the fifth most goals in the league uh, we conceded 70 goals uh, and the fact that everyone is relying on Liam Moore who actually played every minute of last season um, we're relying on him to stay because he's the greatest defender etc etc he's a great defender but he's going to need a partner there with him something that we missed last year was Paul McShane uh, when Paul McShane was in the squad, we only conceded 25 goals uh, and we scored 23. So when we had that back two pairing of them two, we actually conceded a lot less goals compared to when it was Moore and Delory. Uh So some of that I would like to see next year is that uh, McShane and Moore partnership coming back because throughout the 16-17 season, it was superb. Uh, and then throughout the 17-18 one, we got to see it for not about, for probably about the first half of the season. Uh, and then we didn't really see it after that. Uh, so yeah, once again, probably need that back four stability that we need. Last year, we ended up having Tom Holmes come in at some points. Vandenberg dropped in there. Uh, Thiago Alori. So in my opinion, we need that mcshane Moore partnership back. Granted, we've got John O'Shea now, who I think is just going to be there as backup. And Thiago Alori, if I'm honest, I probably would rather see him as a substitute. So... John O'Shea can be reserve backup, and then we've got Elori as that uh, substitute because, if we're honest, if we're looking at stats wise, didn't really have the greatest seasons. Uh, and yeah, in terms of open play goals conceded, we conceded 69% of goals from open play last year, so 48 of the 70 we conceded were from open plays. 20% of our goals conceded were also from set pieces. So if we're looking at that, we kind of need to work on our open play defending. Um, last year, I noticed a lot of players would not go straight in for the tackle. They'd back off, back off and wait for the block. Um, so maybe we need to try and step up on that. Something that Manoni didn't have the greatest of seasons on was saving shots from inside the box. Uh, outside the box, he did quite well. But inside the box, maybe Vito needs to um, kind of work on that a little bit more. Um, yeah, apart from that though, uh, that's kind of it. We averaged one goal per game last year, which wasn't great. Obviously 48 overall. So maybe when everyone says we need to sign a striker, we certainly do. Um, obviously signing Mark McNulty might be one of the helping to the problems. Um, maybe Sam Smith might step up this season. Obviously he's been given the number 19 shirt. So I think he's probably going to stay. Um, but yeah, overall, really, what we need to do uh, is improve everywhere. Um, something we need to improve on is the attacking flow of the team. Obviously, if I had to take away f points from this video, clearly we're not creating enough chances. Clearly, we're very poor defensively. Um, and, you know, maybe we've made steps to improve on that. We signed Yeardom, who could help along that left-hand side. 
or even the right hand side and shift Gunter over to the left. Um, we need the stability in the central defensive part. We need that McShane, the law, uh, that McShane, more partnership in my opinion. Um, and yeah, up top we need the creativity spark back. We need John Swift back on when he had that purple patch because he was untouchable. He was creating flicks, he was creating chances, he was scoring goals. So hopefully we can see Swift hopefully get a bit of confidence back. I'd like to see the wingers put in a few more crosses. Uh, last year they were putting in crosses but they were low going to the first man most of the time. Uh, and the strikers, I want to stay, see them stay in the box. You know, you've got Mark McNulty, you've got John Daddy Budvardson. Um, got Sam Smith. These are guys that can win the uh, aerial battles and, uh, yeah, can hopefully um, put the ball in the back of the net for us. Uh, but, yeah, that does it for today's video. Um, I kind of just thought of this last night, got the information this morning and kind of just, yeah, thought I'd sit down and tell you guys. But, um, yeah, hopefully you guys have enjoyed it. Uh, in the comment section, tell me what I need to improve on. Uh, obviously, it's been a while. It's just the second time in, like, a year that I've sat down in front of a camera. Um, so, yeah, tell me, guys, what I need to improve on. Uh, and, yeah, tell us what you want to see in the future. Thanks for watching guys, I've been James and we'll see you guys next time.